is up guys it's TJ here with kayak USA thanks for tuning into my channel today I'm going to do a review on the 2017 wolf pup toy hauler camper 17 foot is the wolf pup limited check it out my wife is watching these people next to us hook up their campers and the wives are just their wives are just sitting in chairs not they're not doing anything they're not doing anything but sitting in chairs while the guys are packing the campers and hooking the campers up and she's like that's gold I don't think so you want to come out you want to come out with me you want to help Oh yeah, we'll see how we'll see how long it takes us to get home tomorrow. Oh, you're gonna help? Yeah, I'm not. My, uh, I've been telling you guys I, wanna, I was gonna do a walk around of this new camper we got, so I think I'm gonna do it. Our camper is a wolf pup by Forest River. It's a pretty decent camper. It's it's not the biggest one in the world. I mean, it's nothing like what's parked beside us right there. <laughs> that RV is huge, but it's nice. I mean, it's a decent size. It's not a tandem axle, it's just a single single axle, 30 amp hookup. It's got this big door in the back that opens up, folds down, makes it into a ramp so you can pull a golf cart or anything into. It's got these speakers on the outside. They're blue lit with LED at night, they're pretty cool. It's got a TV stand with all the hookups. You can actually just bring the TV out here and hang it up on the side. It's got this power on it. Hit a button. First camper we've ever had with power on it. You just hit a button and it opens up. It is the Forest River 17 PR. Let's go inside, I'll show it to you. walk in, it's got a static door, static hinge, so it won't swing open with the wind and blow open. I got the air on. Ooh, it's dark in here. It's the lights on. So when you walk in, here's the back. This is the door that opens up. We've got a table. The table comes with it. It's, we got it folded up and out of the way. It goes in front of the couch here. And we got overhead storage above the couch. These two things right here, they're screens. So if it was nice weather, like during the fall when it's nice, we can. I bet it's loud in here with that. Let me this Turn it off for just a second. Sorry, I, I wouldn't even think about that. My daughter just smacked her head on the bunk over there. So like I was saying, this is a this door. It's got good grip on it. It's made to to be able to pull like a four wheeler in or a golf cart or, or whatever you can get in here that's going to fit basically. But we just use this for the kayaks for now. But this is a screen door. It's got a couch. It comes with a table. It's got our TV. You know, you can't fit a huge TV above this, but I think that's like a, I don't know, 20 something inch TV. But it's got a mount here and a mount outside so we can hang it up. We got two, two, two. My, my daughter's, she didn't want to be in the, food, in the picture, so she keeps moving around. It's got the TV here, the AC. Very, very nice AC. It's just an overhead unit. There's no vents running to the ceiling, nothing like that. You just cut it on right there and cut it off, and it and it works, but it really works. We've got a bathroom right here. Well, let's skip past the fridge. And above the fridge is just kind of like a shelf. It's got outlets and stuff. we got surround sound with speakers all through the ceiling. It's got a freezer. This is an electric and a gas. On this side, you got a stainless steel oven. I guess it's the vent with the fan and the light. Stainless steel microwave. It's got built-in surround sound. Speakers outside and inside are all controlled here. And there's hookups for your TV. So when you hook your TV up, it goes through the speakers of the camper. You can also, uh, we haven't even took this link off of it yet. It's got an app where you just use the app for the phone and you just use your, your phone to control the camper, you know, music wise or sound wise. Alright, it's got a little bathroom right here. This is a toilet and shower bath combo. It's not really ideal. I don't know if I could get in here and show you guys, but we've got some towels folded up. We're, it's, this is mainly for storage. We're, I don't see us using it unless there's an emergency. But like usually when you go to campgrounds with this, like here, the bathhouses are nice. They got nice showers, nice water pressure, good toilets. This is a good perk here. So if you are planning on coming to Gunnersville, 
don't worry about having to use your camper and don't worry about the bathrooms their shower houses are great they've got always got hot water got good pressure they're clean they're they got private stalls it's really nice anyway here's where the pups they're crashing back here right now on our bed we got a good i think that's a, probably a queen size bed on the bottom there's a single bed it's not very big it's the my daughter sleeps up here and then the what she's sitting on over there now that couch makes out into a bed and it also folds against the wall for storage uh there's storage under the sink that's where we got all of our food i don't know if you can see it all but there's all of our food it's a sink it's got a double burner it's really nice it, it does everything that we wanted it to do so far i've had a lot of people ask me about it when they saw it in the pictures on instagram i was like hey what kind of camper is that are you going to do a review so far this is the second time this is the second time we've used it right yeah pop yes. in here so it's the second time we've used this camper and we we like it i, I was going to be worried we're used to having bigger campers our last camper was a 28 footer and we're used to having more room but more rooms wasn't always good. They were older campers that we had. That we've never had anything this new. This is a 2017. So it being updated with all the new stuff and we're not having all these worries about stuff breaking and you know stuff going bad or, or outdating and stuff like that. For the size of this, we don't, we don't plan on living in our camper when we go camping anyway. We just want somewhere at night where we can relax. If it rains, we want to be able to come in here and you know turn Netflix on or something. And that's what we do. We just hook a Roku to our flat screen. We got Verizon Wireless Unlimited. We just use it as a hotspot and bada boom, bada bing. We got Roku. We got whatever we need really on TV as long as we got good service. But it's also got one of those round satellite discs on top of the camper that if you don't have signal or service out here for your phones or internet or whatever, that that thing will pick up like 50 something channels so that there's always something to watch. I'm gonna turn this AC on before it gets too hot in here because it will get hot quick. We'll go back outside and I'll show you around a little bit more. Uh, oh, they're gone, boy. They hooked up and got out quick. Look, both of those cameras are gonna yeah. But there's the speakers. You can hear speakers playing on the outside. It's got a huge storage compartment right here with the spare tires at. And it's actually got a solar charger port. You can buy a solar panel, plug it into this port, and prop it or set it up on top of the roof, and it will it will keep your... It's, I mean, it's not going to power the whole camper, but it keeps your battery trickle charged so you don't have to worry about having a, you know somewhere to plug up a charger to keep your battery hot. There's the front of it. The front of it does have the rock guard. It's got the single propane, the single battery. It's got the good jack stands. Not the, not, we've had some, we've had a few campers that had the sucky jack stands for all four corners that had the rear, weird ratchet thing and I didn't like that at all. These, I take a drill and I've got a drill bit. Bring it with me, stick it on there and go burr, raise it up, raise it down. Levels it out pretty good. But that is my review on the 2017 Wolf Pup. It's the Wolf Pup Limited 17 foot toy hauler. We like it so far, second time we've used it. We're just using it to camp out of, not live out of, so it's doing everything we need it to do. We're happy with it. Thanks for watching. Catch me next time. If you like this video or you like this type of video, just give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel and you like this video and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Thanks, guys.